Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. All right, guys, so before we get into today's video, of course, shout out the homies over at BetBall for coming through and helping out the fellas podcast. Now, if you guys don't know what BetBall is, it is a social uh, sports betting app, right? And what you can do is you go on there, you follow your favorite people, like the fellas, make sure you follow us on there, right? And you can actually go ahead and see what sort of bets we're putting down, seeing how we get on. There's also chat room, so you can actually see us live, what win the bet, be happy, celebrate, break whatever it is um there's live chat rooms which is amazing um it makes it a lot more fun but hey look if you don't want to follow our uh tips and tricks then they also have ex footballers as well darren bent the fifa 12 goat and just a bunch of other people on there so make sure you go ahead and check us out on the betball app now, don't forget, by joining the BetBall family, you will actually get yourself £50 in free bets and 100% in odd boosts. Now, if that... I mean, look, what's there not to like about free bets? I mean, really. In order to access that, though, you do have to use our link in the description. Not gonna lie, guys, this weekend it is absolute carnage. We have a seriously massive one. We've got Liverpool and Chelsea. That is an insane game, by the way. Another insane game is also Man City versus Arsenal. So you know this weekend is gonna be filled with drama. Now this week, we've gone for Real Madrid, St. Etienne, Augsburg, and West Ham all to win, okay? Now this was at 58 to 1, um, and we placed 10 pounds. So doing the math there, we should get 590 quid back. And of course, BetBall said they wanted in on the action as well, and they're backing us. So what they've decided to do is actually give a 20% odd boost on that particular bet if you go ahead and follow us on there. Now, that particular boost will be live on Friday for 1,000 people, okay? And uh, for them, if you put down that £10, you'll actually get 700 back. Now, remember, it's, there's only 1,000 people that can get this, and it's live from Friday. So guys, if that does interest you, and let me tell you, BetBall is something different to the other ones, just in terms of the social interaction. It's just it's just more enjoyable. It's an enjoyable experience. But as always with these things, you have to be over 18, guys. And then not only that, but please make sure you guys are doing this responsibly. It should just be for fun and leave it at that. That's always the case with these things. Of course, T's and C's applies and make sure you gamble responsibly. Enjoy, guys. Welcome to episode 43. <laughs> Chip, you're looking good today. Thank you, brother. I feel great. Uh, so you guys are probably wondering, yo, where the hell is Chippo Crimes? Well, unfortunately, Chippo got struck down by the mighty vid, aka COVID, aka... Yeah. Uh, and I've been brought in once again as a, the ringer. Yeah, the replacement. What is it? It's one, two, three... Th hat trick ball. Hat trick, sure. yeah. This is your hat trick on the fellas podcast. Oh, There's no ball for you. Alex, no. no. Um, but yeah, so we we're back in the mix. So uh, yeah, like I said, uh, Chip is unfortunately uh, having crippling COVID right now. So uh, we he looks like he's on the mend, though, from what we saw. He just posted a little uh, yeah. test in the chat that showed that he is officially negative again, yeah, that's good. which is amazing. Uh, so hopefully he'll be back for the next one. Otherwise, we got fucking raving. I'm here to stay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, last time you jumped on, we actually did a podcast. It was you, me, and we had uh, Katie Price on. The wonderful Katie Price. Yeah. She, to this day, a lot of fans say that was like, one of the best fellas episode. I didn't really contribute much though, <laughs> but it was a great episode. I, I would say Katie did pretty much everything oh, she, in that. Yeah, she's incredible. Really. She was. She she was amazing um and that was received so well so i thought you know what we'll just get reverend back in the mixer i'm very um, appreciative of you inviting me back mate no that's all right mate it's nice that you've come yeah. in uh you've got an interesting hat can i see the trim can you take off the hat no that's the reason why no, <laughs> let's just have a little no! look. oh my god oh my <laughs> god i no. did only just wake up before really coming here yeah. what, what, you you are usually like a I'm, 7 a.m rise yeah what's happened my health is usually great but since the cycle last week what is the cycle that you're talking about? You said the cycle as if it was as like in, some momentous event. What happened? Oh, I just, I just cycled a long distance in a few what, days. How, in long? Row. how uh, long? I ended up being like 470 kilometers across three days. 408 in how long? <laughs> three days? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does that average out to? Like how many, how many It was day? 90 miles a day. 90 miles a day. Average. So that's like 140 kilometers. Yeah, 144 roughly. I think, yeah. Wow, that is insane. And so your body just must be on the biggest like come down ever. Yeah, no, and mentally as well. Because yeah. obviously, like, I trained for 
a long while to do that. To do that, that is. Yeah. Was it good though? It was, it was in memory of a of, of a friend who passed. It away, was right? in memory of a friend who passed away, Alice White. So, shout out, shout out him. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it was it was just really hard. And was now, it actually though? Because I I when when you said oh 140 kilometers, like I know that's a long way, and I get that. Yeah. But then I I thought like if anyone's gonna be able to breeze through something like that, it would be you. But did you genuinely find it like really? Difficult? It was it was difficult because for the last. For the final two days, I was on a bike that wasn't mine. That wasn't yours. Yeah. So, oh. so proportionately, what happened? I am. Why? Uh, my like, you know, the thing on a, uh, the chain on a bike, the thing yeah. that moves it across a gear. Yeah. That had snapped. Right. So it was like an inch from being appropriate. So every time you change gear, it was like an inch too far over. Oh, so, so it massive change. Yeah. So it'd like flick the chain off every time. Okay. So I wasn't able to use my bike. I had to go on this one of the spares. And everywhere, my joints are torched. So, really? Yeah. yeah, I'm not even surprised. It was very hard. But you made it. You made it through. You made it out the other side. Yeah. So you, what, was the, what was the full trip? So your friends went all the way from... Jogle, what was the route? They did the Jogle trip. Which Jogle? Is, yeah, Jogle. That's okay. the official... Or you could do Le Jog, which yeah. is the reverse. Okay. Some say Le Jog is actually easier because Cornwall is really difficult. So right. after you finish Cornwall, it gets... It's easier. Yeah. Um, but, so, it's, so it's not because uh, I was thinking like if you're starting at Cornwall surely it's just all the way uphill to Scotland right? <laughs> <laughs> no that's that? yeah I know you did that yeah, um, yeah, yeah. nice that's yeah. not the case that, which is the uh, so what your friends went all the way from Scotland yeah all the way down it's to Cornwall it's a 16 hour uh, van trip up there to oh begin my, so with so that's a car so they're journey. already yeah they're already knackered yeah for sure wow and, and then, then they, they cycle like all the way down and how long did it take them to cycle from the top to the bottom of the uk 10 days 10 days that is actually just so quick i think yeah yeah most people do it in like two weeks which are, is 14. They, are, are these are these fit lads nah. no no like, well pub, i mean some, lads. some of them are some of them are really fit like, but have like a, a range of backgrounds like rugby are they pub lads then really S -s yeah some are somewhere yeah and they completed it yeah they did it smashed it man it's all it's all up here really honestly all up in the brand. because you <laughs> 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 here we go um yeah so because the moment they get off the bike they're asleep and then when they wake up they're back on the bike are they it's boozing like, on their way down or not no no no, 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 no. that's I that's i think that's that. a lot of the reason which got a fair few of them through to the end yeah think, but. because they didn't get on the booze yeah. see, oh, the temptation like at the end of it I'd just be like I just want one pint one ice cold pint would be I, I had one yeah? I had a pint of uh, cider at St Ives and I felt battered oh after really it. yeah because my body was just in like dehydrated just, yeah, to the max shut down mode it's done like yeah. miles upon miles of hills <laughs> it's been on the bike a bike that was inappropriately sized was it too small or too big for you? No, too small. <laughs> so you're, you're riding a BMX down no, to no, Cornwall? No, no, not, <laughs> <laughs> not quite, but like, so you, the handlebars are supposed to be relatively level with your seat, right? Right. But because the frame, well, you know this, because yes. your bike is a horse. Well, my, mine was you made have, for a fucking giraffe, yeah, so it's appropriately bike, sized. I don't think there's a bigger bike in there the isn't. world. I have the bigger. I, I reckon as soon as you're done with it, you take it off to Guinness or whoever. Well, I mean, Stick I just take it, it to the... a circus. You know that guy that goes <laughs> yeah, around yeah, with, yeah. The, with the penny farthing? Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the, the handlebars were like two, three inches too low, which yeah. obviously if you're sitting on the handlebars, uh -huh. that doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the handlebars? If yeah, this really is a circus <laughs> If you're leaning on the handlebars for over 10 hours of a day, yeah. you're bent so far. It's going to be terrible for the people listening on audio, yeah. but you're bent so far over. Yeah. So imagine, imagine back those is porn fried. videos where they're like, oh, I'm stuck in the dishwasher. Like, and they're mm. like, you know, they're bent it's over like, like that. Oh, I'm it's stuck like, in the dishwasher. Yeah, and the, the guy goes, help. I'll be around in six hours. Yeah. Stay put. <laughs> yeah. I'll come and fix yeah. you right up. And then six hours later, she goes, I'm still stuck here, man. Back is fried. <laughs> <laughs> Won't be too long, love. It's just, <laughs> just another hour sort of thing. And by that point, she's... It just gets her out and she just falls over. <laughs> she kills over. She doesn't yeah. even get to have any fun. It's just no, painful. No structure at all. Yeah. Um, and yeah. the backs and pieces. So yeah, that's basically why I have this weird intermittent napping pattern now. Yeah. Because... Well, you made it here, which is fantastic. So it just... Did wake up, you know, yeah. monster down me, which yeah. I never drink. Yeah, that's why I saw you come in with a monster and yeah. then you were saying you were napping. I'm thinking... Yeah, I had to cancel out with the agua. 
Ah, the Agua. Yeah, yeah. today uh, me and Reeve both aren't drinking right now. Because I thought, you know what? If it's just me and Reeve, then uh, why would I need to get absolutely battered? Like, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. So, um, Cause yeah. Because Ch Chippo is a really <laughs> difficult conversation. <laughs> yeah, Chip is... Uh, uh, it's just hard to get around Chip. Like, when, when he's getting absolutely bad, it almost feels like... I would feel really bad to let yeah. him get battered by yeah. himself. So, so I do it to, to be there for him. I would, I would argue that I'm just like emotional support at all times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but recently, uh, to all the um, fellas, and there's a lot of fellitas out there that enjoy it as well. The football is back. That's why I'm yes, here you've in there. You've got your football top on. The new hashtag, hashtag United season kit. Happy days. Yeah. Um, but I'm so happy the football's yeah. back. By the way, I know, I know. There's a lot of people that probably. Want to enjoy listening to us talking about? I don't give a shit. They have to listen to it. Oh, Premier League is back. God, it's back! And not only that, and it's live. Oh, I'm very sure. <laughs> yeah. Wait, that's what he says. By the way, you know what? I uh, okay. I think that's forced. Yeah, you know when he goes and it's live. Bro, he's been like doing, doing it for about twenty years. Surely it's no, a play it hasn't surely been it's twenty a, years. Surely it's a play button now. I'm <laughs> Martin Tyler's like I'm not doing it this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, fine. <laughs> Press play. <laughs> and it's live. <laughs> I was. How long is it? He says it when he's it? not even on commentary. Uh, how, like, how long has he been doing it for? <laughs> well, how long has the Premier League been around? He hasn't been doing it for that long. I think he's nicked Actually, it off to be of fair, like... Andy, Andy Gray used to be around, didn't he? He got axed. Well, he did so get Martin, axed. Martin Tyler. How long? Someone let us know. Alex, you're on a commentary. Alex, yeah. Uh, uh, how long has the fella been going, and it's live, like that? The thing is, I think he's robbed it off Buffer. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah, you know, how, you know how Buffer, what does Buffer say again? Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready yeah. to rumble! And he literally gets paid so much money to just go and say that. Yeah. And it's trademarked. He literally, that's, that's no the, one else is actually allowed to go to a live event and say that. That's crazy. That's right? the easiest bag in, Ever. in the world. And I think that was his... He's gone, right, well, that's just fucking genius, isn't yeah. it? And he's gone, I'll have a little nibble of that Bro, as if well. You can, if you can meme anything or trademark anything, you're on a road to success. Mm -hmm. That's how... Honestly, this it's phenomenal. Works. Commentating since 1990, yeah. But when's he been saying the and it's live? Spurs battered the city. They did? Yeah. Can you believe that? I can believe it because I put a son yeah. in my FPL team. You made what a big dick move that <laughs> it was, was wasn't by it? the way. That was massive. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, what? what? Your FPL team? No, yeah, yeah, no that's what, yeah. Um, yeah, so what did you end on for the week? 100, 108. 108. You know, I'm really, I'm wow. really impressed by the Ben Rama shout there. Because I, like I, was, I was debating Harvey Barnes, Ben Rama, you know, Imagine Fina, you had Ben Rama, Ben Rama as well instead of uh, Barnes. Oh, imagine we triple captained. Oh, we said pe pe some really tapped individuals really went and uh, triple captain Bruno Fernandes and they ended with like 60 odd points. 60 points for Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes. It's crazy, man. In, in Insanity. And I ended on 103. And can I just say, the whole of last season, I think there was maybe only one or two people. I don't think we did. Yeah, did in anybody normal... get over 100 uh, game week points in just a normal game week? No I double game week, nothing. I, I don't, don't think remember. they did. We would remember something yeah. like that chip would remember something like that he absolutely would so to for us to have done it in the first game Last week of the season mate we're on to something four, four of us five of us that did yeah it? i do want to say oh, guys you, you want to explain it before uh before you want to get into the mixer here we actually have the fellas uh fpl league so oh, please go ahead and join that um and what's what's the code alex it'll be on screen, it'll be on screen but 41EKMI. That is your code right there. Go and join it. We currently have 25,000. Wow. 25,000 people in that league. That is phenomenal. That's a lot work. of people. That is a lot of work. And there is some big, there is some big prizes. I, I'm not allowed to, supposedly, yeah, you're not allowed to say that you're giving out cash for, for prizes for We FPL are giving leagues. out. So we're giving out. Rewards. We're giving out Haribos. Ah, there it is. The classic. Very valuable Harry Bows. So uh, to the to the winners and maybe maybe second and third. I haven't decided yet. But anyways, where are you currently sat in? I'm in the top two thousand. That's still pretty good. Yeah, very good. Out of twenty five thousand, I'll yeah. take that. Um, but then yeah, so that's the FPL update. Anyways, uh, yeah. what are some fixtures? Any fixtures you're looking forward to this weekend? What we got? Arsenal, Chelsea. Arsenal, Chelsea. Reasons. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll be going to that game yeah. actually. Or by the time this comes out, we will have been to that game. Yeah. So we'll either have had an absolute stinker. <laughs> hey, what a performance from Balogun that was! Four goals in the first half. Yeah, you wish, yeah, mate. Okay. You wish. Uh, guess what? Lukaku just yes. bagged a, a debut hat trick against you lot. Probably five. Maybe five. Yeah, it could be. As many as four. 
Uh, uh, Liverpool, who have we got? We have got... Burnley. Burnley. Field. You know what? I don't... I, I, it wouldn't surprise me if we drop points to Burnley. Burnley nah. just... Mate, no, 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 no. Last... Like, I'm just telling nah, you. Burnley back, are man. horrible to you play got a against. crowd. Burnley are, are horrible the to play against. Man. Um, and then what was the other one? And then United have Southampton. And We I, only know this because these are the most important fixtures. FPL for fixtures, yeah. FPL, yeah. Because it was either, am I captain Bruno or do I captain Salah? That's yeah, yeah. the every week, yeah. uh, every week conundrum. And it's a smart thing to do. What do you, what do you think you're, who, who are you captaining? Any, any ideas? Uh, I think I'm going to go. Teller. Oh, really? I'm yeah, going for Farnash. I think so I'm Anfield gonna go for Nash. Though, I'm going for Nash. You have zero faith in your team. Mate, Burnley. We never we don't I don't know. I just don't like playing Burnley, so it is what it is. People ask me if I like football. <laughs> I tell them yes. But Burnley. In between what? us? No? In between us, I, I okay, here's something I actually need to admit to. I have never watched like a full season of In Between Us. I've only ever watched. People the are allowed to walk off this show. <laughs> 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 Okay, wait. So we we have to quickly just go back to this Martin Tyler debate. Got you. Got you. So okay. At least before 2010, so he started before 2010, but it, be, it really became a catchphrase just after that. See, this is what I'm saying, man. He just robbed it. He robbed it. Um, uh, okay. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about actually um, was Messi. Oh, man. Messi. Did you, did, you, did you watch his announcement? Uh, what, what do you mean? Like of him walking into the yeah, so stadium? Yeah, the, the, the PSG Tannoy going... Yeah, my son. Uh, he won another great. Well, obviously. Yeah, go on. No, French, do it. Right? How did it go? <laughs> it's in French, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, go on then. <laughs> but it said one of the world's icons, and everyone went hooray, <laughs> as you would. Yeah, yeah. Six Ballon d'Ors, hooray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it's like Leo, and the crowd just goes Messi. Oh, that's fucking and then, sick. Yeah, and then it's basically. Yeah, and I saw and, and and didn't it, it look the flares and stuff in there? It looked absolute. Got a feel for like Donnarumma, Wijnaldum, yeah, and all the other big out. signings. Even Ramos, Ramos <laughs> is like one of, if not the best centre back in world yeah. football ever. Right, most decorated certainly, uh -huh. and he just sat there. <laughs> It's like as the fourth man of this five-man tribute band. Isn't it? Isn't it cool though that finally they get to play together, Messi and Ramos? I think what's even cooler is the rumours of. What Ronaldo? Yeah. It's not going to happen. No, I know. Let me not. talk about. I know it. Let, me, not, let me let me say why because right, it, I, Messi was done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, look, Messi and Ronaldo would not want to play on a team with each I other. I think they would. I may. I think no, because it would just create this, like underlying toxic atmosphere. Because they're both so competitive, you can't deny. Yeah, it, but right? Ronaldo would be in direct competition to be better than Messi. Yeah, and, and win Messi another Ballon like d'Or. Yeah, he wouldn't like it. They wouldn't like it. It would be constant battling. Yeah! It's not even good for the team. It's not even good for the team. How can you say that? It's not, bro. You've got two people. If I was, if I was a defender playing in Liga and I saw the team, <laughs> I wouldn't play that season. Every, every I wouldn't week. Play that season. I go, oh, I've got a bit of an ankle injury here, boss. Yeah, I'd pull a name on my sister's birthday. Yeah, can't make it. <laughs> but seriously, Messi and Ronaldo, they, they just, it would just never happen. It would just be a constant battle, and not only that, but the constant comparisons would finally drive you absolutely up the wall. Yeah, but let's just settle, let's settle all the war. Who's know? winning? Who's winning that debate? They both say on the, they both but they both play on the same team for one season. Who who's coming out looking like the better player? Messi. Yeah, good man. Obviously. Good man. And that is and that's why I bring fucking Reeve onto this show. You know what I mean? You wouldn't get that from your previous co-host. No, not at all. Not at all. Uh, uh, one of one of the most viral clips we have from this podcast is actually Chris MD slandering any uh, Ronaldo fanboys. I yeah, should say. Yeah. So put, um, put it to bed, mate. Nice one, Chris. Yeah, no, and it, it really rattled some. Well, that's uh, what the M stands for in Chris MD. People didn't realize what Messi Dixon. Messi Dixon. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. No, that must be what it is. Um, put that on your shorts channel, Chris. Okay. Uh, some huge news, right? So I went over to Belfast recently. Bloody hell! Let me tell you, <sighs> Belfast is someplace, man. I know. I was supposed to go, wasn't I? Yeah, but um, Sad. the state of you. Anyways, um, uh, the uh, the the real ones went over to Belfast. The ones that care about their friends. So, um, <laughs> uh, we have a friend over there called Max, previously known as Max Plays FIFA on uh, on YouTube. But um, he now runs his own gym over there called Max Fit Gym. Very impressive. great gym. If you're in Belfast, go check it out. Um, and yeah, we went over there. Uh, it was me, Harry. Uh, Chip was supposed to go, but he got Corona. Me, Harry, Gibb, and Joel. Went over there and mate, Belfast is what a, what an amazing Popper, place right? that is. Oh, it's yeah. so much fun. I honestly had such a good time, but 
I ha- uh, the amount of fans there was. I can imagine. I can in- imagine l- the most insane I've ever seen. Because you have like the most popular person in Belfast there with you. Yeah. Which is Max. Which is Max. Yeah. Swiftly followed by Harry Rotishu. <laughs> yeah, no. um, they don't even know who Harry is, really. It's just no, Max, just Max. It? Yeah. They heard Max was out out on the town, but yeah, Ma- Max has had a uh, pretty poor health over the last uh, year, or maybe like eighteen months now. So we decided we want to go over there, say hello to him, uh, and get him out of the house a bit. So we did that, and he's, you know, he's getting better. He's feeling better. But me and Harry, we, mate, it was just, you know, we'd we'd go to we'd go to a bar. Me, Harry, this Gibb, is, Joel. This is also like a generation of people that have grown up with you and now are old enough to go, to go out. to these bars, yeah. all these sort of things. Yeah, we'd we'd go in there, and it was, you know, outside there'd be like ten to twenty people waiting for us to leave really? the, and just wait there. They'd wait three hours. We'd be getting absolutely battered inside You're big the bar. Time, man. Mate, it was actually very. Um, it it was. Uh, Did what, you have what's a good the time? Word? Though, oh, it was amazing. I had an amazing okay. time. It was the best, and everyone there's so friendly. Yeah. Honestly, that's that's a good thing. Yes, about there's a lot of unfriendly lot of people or yeah. people that just shove cameras in your face. Yeah. But over there, everyone was honestly so nice to us, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, it's going more to of Belfast. Like a, it's more of like a pub culture, really. Isn't it is. It's a bar than, culture. Yeah, like you know, five p.m. to ten p.m. rather than here, which is like. 4 a.m. whenever. Four days later. Yeah, till four days later in fabric and yeah. you see Chippo in the smoking area the entire time. The good people over at Stitch Fix are back and better than ever. Guys, this app is so sick. I literally, I was checking it out and I was there like, you know what? Especially during my young years. Right now, I think I've got, I've, I've got good fashion sense. This thing gives me a good bit of inspiration for what I want now. But let me tell you, right? About four or five years ago, maybe you don't even have to go that far back, maybe even two or three years ago, you can look back at some of the stuff I was wearing and it was horrendous. And it's all because I literally had no idea what to buy. I would walk into a shop and just buy whatever was first there and think, yeah, that'll do. Whereas actually Stitch Fix will sort you out. So if you're wondering what exactly it is, it's an online personal styling company that makes getting clothes you love effortless. It's a completely different way to shop that's all about you every time. To get started, go to stitchfix.co.uk slash fellas to set up your profile. They'll deliver you great looks personalized just for you in your color styles and budget. I went on there and I was there like, oh, I I really hope that it's not all just like bland stuff. I went on there and they really do have a bunch of different styles. So I actually really rated that. Um, You pay 10 pound in a styling fee for each fix, which is credited towards anything you keep. Schedule at any time. There's no subscription required. Uh, plus, shipping returns and exchanges are easy and free. Let me tell you, if something doesn't fit you, you can return it and exchange it, whatever it is, for free. It is absolutely key. The amount of times I've bought things, they don't fit me, and it's a hassle to return because you've got to pay X, Y, Z. It's just a ball like So, it's for free. We love that. Um, not only that, but Stitch Fix does the hard work for you, making great style effortless for men and women. Women, if you're if you're struggling out there, you don't know what to go for, you can go ahead and check out Stitch Fix. So get started today at stitchfix.co.uk slash fellas, and you'll get 20% off when you keep everything in your fix. That's stitchfix.co.uk slash fellas for 20% off when you keep everything in your fix. Go ahead and check that out ASAP. Um, but yes. no, but Belfast is yeah, lovely place, lovely people, good food as well. We had some. Mm. We went to a place called Dean's. We went for a steak Deans. at Dean's. It was Michelin star apparently. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, would recommend it to anyone going there. Then we also went to a place called Zen, I think, and that was like some Asian food. So if you're ever in Belfast, try out those two spots. It was very tasty. Nice. I liked it. What did you get? Uh, you want to know like my full order? Like I got. Oh, just what well, the best steak. thing you had was really. um, a steak. Was, a steak. Oh, okay, yeah, fair. yeah. Went to a steakhouse, got a steak. It was pretty good, to yeah. be fair. Um, smart guy. Yeah, very smart. Uh, medium rare though. Uh, anyone, anybody that gets a steak either medium well or well done, yeah, that's is you've just the, the cows yeah. died for nothing. Yeah, you've congratulations. Burn it. You yeah, it's yeah, it rubber. You're yeah. eating rubber. Congrats. You you always have to you just keep an eye out for those people. If you ever go to a um who, who a steak place, anyone it? in here have their steaks well done, medium well? Feel free to put your hand up. Don't be shy. Okay, see no one. I know you take? do, Sam. Sa- well, Sam's a vegetarian. He doesn't even have it. Yeah. Well, he used to be vegetarian. I don't know about it anymore. You know what he used to do? Sam Sam had this kind of funny thing. He would be he'd be vegetarian yeah. until he went on holiday. Yeah. And oh, when he different would postcodes. Yeah. You know. 
He, yeah. Well, he said he didn't, he didn't mind eating the cows of other countries as long as it wasn't <laughs> the cows of our country. Uh, the British cows are supposedly a lot more valuable than any other type of cow, unless it's a That's Japanese true. Wagyu cow. Oh. You, know, you, know, you know what Wagyu is? Like, like, do, no, do you know about the Wagyu cow though? Oh, no, I don't know. I just know okay, the, so, the end product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously it's uh, the most prestigious, the most expensive type of meat you can possibly buy. And just because it's a really rare cow or what? Well, it's rare, but the way they treat them, right? Is so they massage the cows. No they way. feed them beer. Um, and it's also that it has like fat marbling in the skin so that <sighs> when you cook it, the, the fat melts in the meat and it just tastes phenomenal. And the best you can get is Japanese A5 Wagyu. Now, for all the little scam artists out there, if you go to a place <laughs> and you just get Wagyu beef, d that's not gonna taste that. Or it, it will taste good, but the best is Japanese A5 Wagyu. Those are the Japanese cows. Hmm. The best cows you can get. The ones that were massaged. And they even say sometimes they sing to them It's a bit shit. of a weird system, isn't it? First letter, fifth number. Not yeah. A1. Which you would, you would think would be yeah. in like the five star or yeah. Z5. Yeah. They've just gone. Is Z the last letter on the alphabet? It is. Yeah. yeah. Well, that would make sense then. Yeah. Why, why have they done that? Yeah. A5. It's their Anyways. favorite road in England. <laughs> the A5. Yeah. Where does the A5 take you? I have no idea. I don't know. Bristol. No, it probably doesn't because I cycled around there and I didn't see an A5. You, you cycled around Bristol? Yeah. No A5 around Bristol? No, not that. Any if wagon is, cows? If it is, I do apologize. <laughs> Any Wagyu cows? No, we did see a lot of um, the other ones. <laughs> Roads? No, oh, actually, sheep. We cycle sheep. Past some sheep are out there as well, Reef. Ci cycle past some cider farms, orchards. It sounds like you had a wonderful time. Reef, it honestly. was incredible. I was rolling through those Cornish hills after you know, like these insane ten to fifteen percent inclines at the yeah. top of them, being like, "I've earned this view." Yeah, this is mine. Oh. If I even get off the bike. Did you ever get off the bike? No. You, yeah. like, you go off the bike? What, for the whole day? No. But I mean, like, did you ever stop and go, wow, what a fucking view, let me get off? Yeah, or no, was no, it a no. constant cycle? Yeah, it was, it was kind of constant cycle. You just absorb the view as you can. Yeah. But if people need a wee break or anything, you just yeah. like, stop by a farm game. But like, whew, Wow. That is picture. Would you, would you ever go cycling Panoramic. in Belfast? Hilly there. It was more yeah. hilly than I thought it was going to be, actually. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, you like the hills? Oh, I don't like the hills. Well, Just give me flat. Amsterdam, that's supposed to be very flat. Yeah, but... yeah, Netherlands true, true, in general, yeah. sorry. But I mean, you're not really going to get great views if you're not on... on Unless you're on mushrooms, then you could probably have a fantastic view. Yeah, you don't really need hills. Cycling on LSD? Is there a potential video idea in that? I don't know. Can no? You, it's difficult to clip in when you're seeing, like, your foot's a frog. <laughs> you're looking... <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, so in, what else did we do in Belfast? Uh... We had a lot to drink, went out, did ate you, some nice did you, food. Did you work out in the gym? Or you just, just I was the only guy that didn't work out. Yeah, I didn't see many <laughs> stories. You didn't see any pictures yeah, of me no, working out. Yeah, that's because I was sat in the office on the couch <laughs> with my feet up and I texted him and I said, let me know when you guys are done. <laughs> you actually yeah. did. <laughs> I said, I, said I'm not, I can't be asked fucking working out. I'm yeah. hungover, yeah. Max, I'm really happy for you, but- Yeah, can look, we just your go? gym is lovely, but- yeah. I came here to drink. Yeah. Um, and uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah. So I was over there and mm. we have a bit of like a running theme on this podcast where we had Olivia Neal on the podcast. You know Olivia Neal? Yeah. I'm, Superstar I'm, yeah. in Belfast. Did oh, you meet her again? Huh? You meet her? No, I, I, didn't, I didn't meet her out there. Oh, but people know of you and... Uh, Olivia doing this podcast. Yeah, so they yeah. message like, oh, go, ah. go, go. So we have this thing where I was there like, well... I want to go meet John. This is her. So this is <laughs> yeah. this is her ex boyfriend, yeah, yeah. right? You apparently like sorted to get back together and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. We we brought them back together. Yeah. Well, we've I, I, I've come back from Belfast with some horrific news, guys. Ah. So we managed to get them back together. Yeah. You know, she moved back to Belfast, got yeah. a house. They were getting back together. They've only gone and broken up again. Ah. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're going to have to get back on the men. All of that work for nothing. Oh, what a waste of 2021. What? Oh, I couldn't believe it, Reeve, mate. The, me and Chip had been graft and we put in a shift during that whole thing for John You just John don't get enough respect, man. We yeah. don't. We, we really don't. And I came back with that. Now, I have heard some rumors about why they broke up. Now, I'd, I feel as though it wouldn't be fair for me to speculate online, <laughs> right? But there was genuinely, so this is another thing, okay. is everyone in Belfast claims to know Olivia Neal. Oh, really? Because right? they would come up to me and they'd be like, oh, watch your podcast with Olivia Neal. They're like, oh, I know her. And I'm like, <laughs> right. and they're like, oh, right, okay. But you're the 10th person today that's come up and said that. So yeah. either Olivia Neal is, has just had the biggest friend group I've ever seen, yeah. 
or just because they live in Belfast, they claim they know her. I don't know, but yeah. I got a lot of stories about why John and Olivia broke up, but I feel as though it's not very respectful for me to be though. If she wants to tell people why they broke up, yeah. they can. And it's another reason to get back on. And, and, it, and look, Olivia, if you want me to sort this out, you may or may not want to. We've got another spot on the podcast for you. We're more than welcome to to fix things. Or maybe you can just let her know. Because truthfully, the fellas, uh, the fellas and Felitas uh, that watch this podcast on a regular basis are, are more invested in your relationship than you could ever imagine. Yeah. Um, I did offer John to go for a pint, but unfortunately... Uh, I didn't fancy it. I, he, ne he never messaged me but he does follow the fellows podcast so I follow him back on the account just as like, it's like me putting a little olive branch yeah, out there yeah, yeah. and say look mate come, come on, and have a pint just with a beer me. man it's just a beer I just wanted to see the man the myth the legend although he might not be a legend anymore anyways who knows um, oh, that's a shame. it is a shame so that's your teenage heartbreak story for today um, everyone's mourning that relationship actually I mourned it for a little bit when I found out could be complete horse shit though because <laughs> the amount of people that claim to be Come Olivia's back friend, on to say no we're fine yeah we're we're, we're actually Thank really you. good we're getting married um <laughs> a, a, <Me> john jr <laughs> <Me John. laughs> uh, i don't see that happening on the no. horizon i'll be honest i don't john it's, jr it's probably not a great conversation either with like a just a zero year old <laughs> a little baby <laughs> so john jr i was thinking <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway speaking about people uh following other people on instagram this is water right sam <laughs> yeah yeah with a, with a hint of vodka um we, we we've had a huge follow on instagram oh, I, I know because i'm very jealous yeah of, of said follow uh he features in my fpl team uh, i'll be on it i'll be honest he, he did he, he did feature in mine he had about, a bit of a stinker game week one week before and i thought Callum Wilson, he's he's a big boy. He, might, he is. He might score, and he did. Well, I didn't put him in. If he didn't put him in, well, uh, Sufal. It is followed us on Instagram. Sufal, I know you're watching. Uh, I asked Ethan, does he speak any English? Ethan told me no. So I know you're watching on subtitles, mate. Um, what's the, what's uh, check hello? Is Venetia? Is that what it is? No, I don't oh. think so, mate. But it just sounds like it would be. Yeah. Maybe we could get a little check up on how to say hello in Czechanese. Czechanese. What is it? How, what, what language do they speak there? Is it just Czech? Just I speak Czech, Czech. I think, yeah. Czech. Mate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how's it? How do you say it? Don't be shy, Alex. Come on, lad. Ahoy! Ahoy! Ahoy, Ahoy Sufal! <laughs> pirates and chairman! <laughs> <laughs> That's outrageous. Ahoy, Ahoy there! It's <laughs> rocking around with wooden legs and an eye patch. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. Ahoy, Sufal, you fucking legend. <coughs> it's with a J. Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy! Oh, it's just Ahoy, but with a J at the end, right? Okay, Might as that. Yeah. The J is silent in Ahoy. Must be. Right, phenomenal. Anyway. I can't believe that. Anyways, I hope you have a good day, mate. I could really do with some FPL points, fella. So we're going to need you to whip in have a they got next? Oh, says. Leicester C. Or Leicester. So that'd be a big game. i got mm. faith, though. Come on. Come on, you hammers. You mighty hammers. Who, Jesse Lingard might be going there for 25 M's. Yeah, that, that puts your Ben Rama plans in. No, no, because Ben Rama has been balling out. So I, there's no way he just walks in and takes Jay his Ling's spot. Jay Ling's, mate. Mm. Why did, why did you yeah, play? maybe, maybe. Mm. Right. Jay Ling's. I did a video with him, actually. Jesse Lingard. Nice guy. Wonderful guy. Honestly, true. Cool. The thing is, with a lot of these footballers, all these footballers are actually really nice guys. Yeah. Um, it's just the media just love to just get onto them, don't they? Um, please don't get onto me. Um, and yeah, the lovely blokes and Jesse Lingard invited me into his house. Actually, I don't know if he invited me to the house. I sort of forced my way into this house. Links. It was a thing with links. Mm. And so I think they went to Jesse like, look, man, there's this fucking weird YouTuber <laughs> that wants to do this ice bath video with you. Is that what you did? Um, yeah. So I got naked in front of Jesse Lingard. Fair play. Cock and balls out. No, I'm joking. That wasn't co quite cock and balls, but it's just what they do in the shower, isn't it? It's no different. Yeah. Do you know what? I've I've always said rugby, rugby changing rooms. Very well, that's, where wanna, that's where you want to go. That's where I'd love to go for a trip to <laughs> yeah. the rugby changing rooms. I think I think I think rugby changing rooms got to be worse than prison. Bucket list. Prison. You dropping the soap in a rugby changing room got to be worse than dropping the soap in prison. What do you think? Why? Because you mean everyone jumps on it. 
It's a scrum. Yeah. It's, a scrum. it's down! <laughs> They're just like flying in. <laughs> it's just a bar of soap, boys! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I couldn't no, think I think probably, I'm definitely tempted to say prison's probably worse. But. You reckon prison's worth? Mm. Worth. Worth worth or worse? Yeah, prison's I'd definitely worse. worth. Yeah. No, I, 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 I don't know. Rugby, I had some weird... Weird things in rugby changing rooms, man. Everyone's it. They just I think very touchy feely, mm. and, and they're like happy about it it's as well. They find though, they it? find that shit funny. Yeah, like like oh, I've just yeah I've just rammed my finger up your ass and everyone's <laughs> laughing. But like, why is that funny? <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't know. That's not that's not funny. If you're that's a rugby player, fingering. if you're a rugby player and you've suffered with this. Please let Reach us know. out. Yeah. Please let us know. Yeah, if there are any rugby players, to please do. <laughs> I've been fingered. <laughs> any rugby players that have been constantly fingered <laughs> during their career, please let us know. <laughs> That's outrageous. <laughs> oh, we can't pass that stereotype. I'm sure you're all really Lovely. genuine gentlemen in the genuine. Lovely. They Tories. say that's a gent sport, right? Rugby's a oh, gent it's a Tory sport, sport isn't it? Mm. Is it a Tory sport? It's pretty Tory. Yeah, yeah it's pretty Tory. I'd Speaking say, of, what, what pre is that Love Island? Oh yeah, yeah. She, I lo- I love the fact that she went on there and said I'd shag Boris Johnson. That right, That's phenomenal. I, She's I, gone I fancy on there. His and- hair. <laughs> Theo Theo's got to be buzzing. Oh, he's, got, <laughs> he's got to straight be straight in the DMs, Baker. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that she's gone on to a show like Love Island and just said. I'm a massive Tory. Yeah. There has to be a level of respect for that. Yeah. Because that takes some bollocks. But what I find really interesting is she's a doctor as well. Like, yeah. Th- like, oh yeah, of that's, course. That's, and and the, the known thing is that just like the Tory government hates hate, hates the NHS. Yes. Sorry. Why don't you just drink it out of the bowl? No, this just looks cool, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Decanting it into... <laughs> yeah, I just found that weird. And obviously, she, wouldn't she, didn't she say something like, I, I'd like it to be Chris Hemsworth's body, but Boris Johnson's hair. That's got to be the weirdest so, so pretty much Thor, really. <laughs> I mean, it's not far off, really, anyway, is it? <laughs> Boris Johnson. Imagine... The, the, the only thing, okay, is... And I have to be honest, I did picture this. Laying down, huh? getting shagged by Boris Johnson with his face, like... Uh, I would say like five inches from your about face. From a personal perspective. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Like POV. <laughs> oh, like, okay. Like yeah, POV. Yeah. I'm laying there getting porked by Boris Johnson because this is ultimately her fantasy, right? It would be. It would. So she's well, just there. his hair, which is a bit weird. Is, is that all it was? Was well, it just she's like, hair? Like, she's like, he's yeah, he's pretty attractive, but I really, I just love his hair. Right. So I mean, if you put a few straws of uh, b- bales of hay on your head <laughs> and then went and did it, <laughs> she's probably loving that. She is. That's really interesting. I, I tell you what, like, if, you, if you're a balding bloke, then then I would I could only imagine that Priya's like your your dream woman. Yeah, I didn't like her anyway. No, I didn't. I'm sure like she's her. a lovely person. But the, my problem with the show now is everything's been planted by producers. Do you think so? So we actually had a Love Island uh, a contestant on Jack Fowler mm. previously, but and he I, said I, it wasn't actually so much like that. I He's feel like, like this year. Do you think so? Do you think yeah. it's changed? Because he was on a few years back. Though. It was a bit dry, and then all these random storylines started yeah. coming out of nowhere because everyone was complaining big time about yeah. it this year and how shite it was yeah and, all of a sudden and they've so tr- many other better TV shows were on at the time yes Too Hot to Handle was competing big oh, time I just with it I thought like the Olympics the Olympics <laughs> mate <laughs> I, I'm, yo seriously the Olympics has got to be one of the biggest catastrophes ever what a poorly poorly they chucked it on Discovery Plus didn't they that was a problem is that actually what it was? Is yeah, that so why it, I haven't seen a fucking yeah, yeah, thing about it? Yeah, uh, because Discovery Plus had exclusive rights to show in the UK. So it you, could, was you couldn't see it apart from highlights. Horrendous, man. Yeah, Honestly, I was, I was sat there and I was thinking, the, I haven't heard about anything. All the athletics, the, the 100 meters, all this sort of stuff. Is usually I sit down, it's a big event. I used to get friends come around and watch it. Yeah. It was a huge thing. This year, I promise you, I hadn't even... No one was talking about it. Yeah, there was no hype. There was no nothing. It was honestly you such get a BBC letdown. sport updates on Twitter. Sometimes, ah, <laughs> oh, another goal to come in. Well done, boys. <laughs> that that was it though. Yeah. It was yeah. shit. I mean, th- isn't this like our most successful Olympics ever? GB. I and should even... know this. Yeah, exactly. This is if it's the Olympics, the biggest sporting event, one of the biggest sporting events yeah. in the world, and I couldn't tell you how many medals we have. Yeah, and I'm in. I'm into it. I'm into it. Obviously, not only that three much, years but... to the next one though. Where is the next one, do we know? Paris. Paris, is it actually? Yeah. See, I feel like I won't be able to avoid that. Tokyo, 
different different time zones. Mm. Let's not have it on Discovery Plus. Let's yeah, I don't, I don't think they'd have it on, like, surely. Surely. Discovery Plus, if you're watching this, just give it to someone else. Yeah, give Sky. it. You, you lot had a fucking howler with that. Yeah, it's poor. Um, I seen one guy do it like a mad pole vault and then the oh. stick just went right up his nuts. What? Oh, sorry. I was, that might be something else. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't remember that one. <laughs> what? Did you just see a mad pole vault or what? What were we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, don't know. We got the good people at Beer 52. Yes. Uh, it just makes me excited. Whenever we get the thing saying you got a Beer 52 ad, it's just so nice to be able to promote something that you actually use. And um, yes, we are here with the good people from beer 52 so the offer is a free case of eight beers and all you have to do is pay the postage of five pounds 95 and you get eight free beers now usually when you hear these sort of offers you think yeah but the postage is going to be loads of money so it's pretty much it's never worth it well i'm sorry but if if five pound 95 for eight beers isn't worth it then i don't know what will make you want to buy a beer ever all right um so if and, and in order to get that offer you guys go to beer 52.com forward slash fellas if you're wondering what exactly Beer 52 is, it's the world's largest beer club with over 170k active members. Each month, members are sent a case with a different theme. Um, it comes with a magazine and snacks. Uh, if you don't like dark beer, you can always choose the light beer options. You guys know we choose the light beer options here. And you can pause or cancel your membership at any time. So even if you just want the free case of beers, just go and get it. That is literally as simple as that. Uh, not only that, but you can go to beer52.com forward slash fellas, pay the £5.95 postage to get all of those eight free beers now. Go and check it out. Anyway, so I was in Belfast. And, uh, <laughs> I went, uh, we had a watch. The last episode was a watch dealer. Oh. Yeah, it's not out yet, so you wouldn't have seen it, but we had uh, ah. Nico. Nico, Nico. Nico, Nico. I, I keep getting it wrong because you have you go Nico Omolano and he likes forces to called, you to yeah. and he wants it Nico, but then I'm pretty sure he, he's Nico. Yeah. So, anyways, I went to go. I, I had him on on the podcast here a couple of days later. I flew out to Belfast, saw him when he was out there. Wow, it was fucking cool. So, I'm, was it a good time, I, mate? He is such a nice. <laughs> oh, that, that's so fucking poor. I hate you. It was a good oh. time. Thank you. Um, anyways, if you watched that podcast, oh, uh, you'll know that we, we we got along really well, and so he invited me over to to Belfast to go check out his vault. How cool does that sound? You'll come check it out my vault. Sounds pretty intense. It was like yeah. a Bond villain. Yeah, it was kind of like that. Anyways, we went into the vault, right? And he just had the coolest collection of watches. What was his best one? You're not, you're not even allowed to say, are you? Are no, you? no, no. So we saw that the best one. He actually brought it on the podcast, so oh. people will have seen it. It was this one of one Patek, and really? it was just incredible watch. Anyways, that was sat there as well, back in the vault. It's all very high tech. The camera, oh, it was really cool. Um, and yeah, he was just showing me and Joel. We went to go check it out. What, and, what's um, like the most expensive? You don't have to say the specific amount, but like in terms of region. What's his most expensive watch? Millions. Really? Millions with an S there, lad. And an does S. he does he sell them? Or just yes, they're the yes. ones that he keeps? No, from? he sells oh, them. Oh, okay. So yeah, he sources and sells them. And yeah, it was. if you guys haven't watched that podcast, I'd highly recommend it. It's honestly so interesting because I didn't really know much about the watch world. Yeah. Although I was interested in them, I, I wouldn't say that I was like, well, I didn't know much. I've got an Apple much. watch. Yeah, so you got that shows watch. people just how little I care about. If, if they watch Yours that last cool. one. Well, he gave this to me. No way. Right, so. I've just realized what it is as well. Yeah, so he gave this to me. No, no, no. So it makes it sound right. like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> off to Belfast we yeah. go. No, um, he, he gave it to me for two weeks. Right. Oh, so, really? so this is what this is what happened. I, I, I went in there and I, um, and I was checking it all out and I was like, cause I do want to buy a new watch. I, my first watch was a Hubo and it, the whole thing is him just taking the piss out of my watch. Oh, essentially. Is it, oh is that not considered? No, that's like dog, like dog tier. Oh, okay. Like proper dog water, dog horse level. Really? Level watch, yeah, horrific. And he was there like, look, we've got to fix you up a good watch here. Yeah. And I was looking at him, I was like, wow, these are, uh, these are amazing. Yeah. Uh, all the watches that were in there were just so cool to look at. And he said, which one do you like the most? And I said, I like this one, which I got my wrist it's now. blue face as well, it's yeah, very blue, nice. Really yeah. fucking cool. Um, and I was like, yeah, I really like this one. Um, and so we were looking at it and I think this this watch goes for like 22, 23,000 pounds, something like that. All right, so enough to trust you with, but. Well, that's the thing. And, no, but I, and so then he goes, well, why don't you just, why don't you just take it for two weeks? And if you like it, 
you can buy it. If not, you just send it back to me. What a, wow. what a by the way, what a fucking genius. That's cool. Because he knew. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He knew. Yeah. Did, make no mistake. Oh, yeah, it fits. yeah, Nico. Yeah, I left. Yeah. And this ain't going back. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving him the full fucking bag for this watch. Because now I'm walking around. Bro, I love That's this smart watch. Smart marketing. It's beautiful. Really, isn't it? It's incredible. And yeah. you know. I can't do a runner. Guess what? He makes a video. Calvrizi robbed a Rolex Sky Dweller. Yeah. 22 grand off me. Rolex Sky Dweller. That's what it is. There you go. Have a look at that. And yeah, he's just, he's, he's fucking caked it then, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he smashed it. Um, it's really nice though. It, it is, really it is nice. honestly, it's so nice. And it, he just his knowledge about, we went in there and this guy just knows everything. And he, yeah. he was like, mate, buying this, good investment, great watch one of the most complicated watches. So when I got home, I had to, I went and watched all these videos about it because I was interested in how it works. And it's a very complicated watch. One of the most complicated Rolex I've made actually. I'm not gonna ask for you to explain it. I'm not going to be yeah. able to explain it to you, it's okay. that complicated. But I just I just know that it's fucking complicated. But it's got the correct time. It does, it's got the correct time. That's all you need. It tells me what month it is as well, which is really handy. I could tell you it's the eighth month. What, what, which is just fantastic isn't why it? is that fantastic just, just in case I forgot what month it was it's like oh oh yeah your life is month. not that bad come on my, my memory is slowly fading <laughs> okay. it's, it's really it's actually getting a bit yeah. oh what month is it boys oh, uh, cow's got it on the rolly yeah yeah. You get a look at that so anyways we walked out of there fantastic and I just know I'm gonna buy this and I know in a couple months I'll be flying back to Belfast I need another one give me another hit on the other wrist on the other wrist you see those rappers <laughs> slowly up the this. same four off instead of a tattoo sleeve it's just a watch sleeve getting bigger and bigger but yeah anyways uh, yeah so that was really cool so shout out to him and uh, yeah, expensive what a great trip by the end of it really I went over in there future. for some drinks and he's out. I've ended up spending 20 odd grand on a watch it's outrageous not what you want really but it is what it is uh, what else? Uh, Belfast, yada, yada, yada. Got a little flight back. Got back. Uh, just a right off of a day, really. You know those ones? You know where you're like, oh, I'm going to go on holiday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on holiday. And you come back more tired yeah. than when you went on holiday. Yeah, yeah. I got back. I needed two days to do nothing. Yeah. I felt like crap. So, yeah. It's tough. Yeah. I, I, I need to genuinely do a holiday of nothing. Of mm. sitting and doing nothing. Yeah, your last two back to back have been pretty intense. relentless. The yeah. Ibiza trip, Belfast, it's just a lot of alcohol involved. Although there is talk going on, there is murmurs under the surface. Of, I thought you'd bring this up. I was wondering if this would be introduced uh, to the public. Of sober September. Mm. Wow. Is you, I mean, you. I don't even know if I want you to be part of it because you are essentially sober for the most part anyways. And doing 30 That's days. Rude. No, doing 30 days is in. nothing. It's not a challenge for you, Reeve. No, it's not challenging, but it's still. I, I think you should have have to do something else as well. Like what? I've no, earned my no, stripes. No, no, no. I don't, you have, oh fuck. Guys, in the comments, could you let me know what, <laughs> what, what else Reeve has to do here? Because I'm not having you in the challenge for that because you do that anyways. All right. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so it was September. Yeah. There's chat of me, Harry, all the, all the usual boys, yeah. Theo, getting involved. But there is one rule. You're allowed to drink if you're not in the United Kingdom. Oh, yes. And the reason for that is because a few people had already had some holidays booked. Free and so we said, right, yeah. well, you don't want to ruin a holiday by not drinking. Yeah. But that, that, that was something that we spoke about. We said, okay, that's fine. No one's that, got- That seems like a fair- A fair trade off, yeah, right? It's yeah, fine, Sober yeah. September. What, what would you say is the best way to complete Sober September? Maybe other people might here want to join me on Sober September. Tick it off day by day. Really? Is that actually- it? So let's yeah, say there, there's get... a pint in front of you though. What, what, what do you tell yourself in your brain? You don't have to have it. No, but you do, mate. It looks so good. <laughs> Start licking your lips even at the mention. Mate, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> just a fucking pint of that little cider, maybe a little... So yeah. So nice. You'll find it easy, man. There's not really that many social events on in September anyway. That's the thing. That's the problem. You've picked, if, a, you've picked an easy month. Do you do. reckon? Yeah, it's over, it's over the hill of summer. I was Everyone's saying, like, ah, I should get back on the grind before it's too cold. Yeah. And then when October and November come, it's like... I'm just a bit cold, really. Don't just need do some anything. whiskey to keep me yeah. warm. Yeah, you're right, actually. <laughs> I didn't say that. No, you didn't say that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whiskey, whiskey is one of those things that you know you stay warm having them. Yeah, you just get a jacket instead. Yeah. Um. All right. What, what else? I, was, I got a little list here. Um. It's a big list it's not for things. List. Um. Oh, oh. Oh. When the hell is Love Island finishing? Monday. Really? Yeah. 
I feel bad for saying this, but thank God. Yeah, I, I haven't enjoyed this season. I've jo- I've pretty much joined in halfway through, to be honest. You, do you have you enjoyed this season? Would you say you enjoyed it? No, not really. I, I just compared there's to been, other there's ones, been it, a few moments, yeah, but not enough good moments to balance out spending that much of my time invested in it. I don't like Faye. I was going to say the same thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She tr- she, she pisses me off. Very loud. Very loud and just and just who un- counted? Is so it unnecessary? Especially when I counted the amount of. F offs, she said. Really? In one video, and it's like 132. How old is she? I don't even know. Is she? Is like she? 25? Okay, see, at that like age, you age? should know how to control yourself. Yeah. It's just, it, it, she kept, she's fucking annoying. And I, it, I'm sorry, <laughs> but she, she really is. And I get it. Like, but the thing is, I always have to remember is like, look, these guys are essentially in a zoo. Right? Yeah, they are. They are they, yeah. They're in a cage. caged animals. And and we're we're staring there on the glass and we're poking fun at them yeah. and we're laughing at them and the animals are going insane. Yeah, yeah. Right, they're actually going insane. Uh-huh, look at all those random animals kissing each other. So I don't is, that, is that what you do when <laughs> you sorry. watch Love Island? No, when I go to zoos. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, when, when the chimpanzee's necking off with a zebra, there's nothing quite like it. Um. Anyways, <laughs> why have you brought in that that I fucking weird? <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't like this season. And I'm, I haven't been impressed with it. And FaZe just pissed me off. And why are the public keeping her in there? Nobody can be know. voting for her. Nobody yeah. can be voting for her. Nobody They're win- voting for Teddy, I think, if anything. Because everyone oh, really? wants him to win. Yeah. And if they vote for Teddy, does she stay in because they're a couple or something? I presume that's... Yeah. And it's fucking me off, man. It's yeah. fucking me off. Oh, but by the time this goes out, Love Island will be finished and it'll be a crown winner. We know. We Congratulations, know- Toby and Chloe. Really? I think they're going to win. Yeah. What about the Liam and Millie? <laughs> He's hashtag player. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, Liam and Millie? Um, nah, I just feel, not got I feel, I feel like too many of the girls that watch the show don't really like Liam. Yeah. Chloe, yeah. Chloe was uh, not a big fan favorite at the beginning of the series and has made a big resurgence. No, she has, yeah. So credit to her. Toby has been just hilarious to watch. Yeah, he's, Like he's, the man is just clueless yeah. about like everything, but it's so endearing at this point. At yeah. first, everyone was like, he's a dick. And now everyone goes, actually, this you guy can't is- You can't be a dick if you're that airheaded. Well, that's, that's, a, bit that's a bit mean, no, but I, is, you know what I mean? And with the same sentiment, people have said yeah, that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. actually mean that. Wow. Time, that hashtag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do you reckon? He, okay, seriously, is he gonna go back and play for hashtag or no? Yeah, no. Yeah. Is he? Don't know. Do you reckon? Are you? I wasn't. No. I, well, I'm curious. Like, what happens from there? What a perfect marketing machine for hashtag though. Come oh, absolutely. And, and one of your players is just one Love Island. Yeah. That's incredible. But not only that, uh, does he ever go back and play? These are the questions we need the answers to. He's good at football. Well, he's supposed he was good at football. Yeah, I I've think seen a few clips of flying around on TikTok. Oh, he looked pretty decent at football. But nice. but is he is he going to become like you know? There's been lots of ex footballers that then go on Love Island and they become so famous, I guess, that they just never go back to football. I think is, I think he'll go back. To, I think he'll go back to football. I'd also like to retract the airheaded comment, Toby. So you made it this far. I just. Bit mean, wasn't it? No, well, no. Do you know what? No, no, no. Because when it comes to like relationship, he's thick. He doesn't know. Yeah, what, that's what that's he, all I meant. When it comes to relationship, he doesn't know what he wants. Yeah, he's clueless. Yeah, you mean he's just clueless? He is clueless. But it got to the point where everyone, at first, everyone was like, "Wow, he's being really manipulative." Yeah. And what, this is what really nasty, toxic. what nasty person that man is. But then they just realized actually he's not got a clue what he even wants. He yeah. genuinely doesn't know. Bro, what he wants. when that happened, I was just oh, it's so funny. You know, it's like. I've, I've been with Abby. I really yeah. like Mary, but my head's with Chloe. Chloe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like, ah! Yeah, yeah. Oh. It was fantastic. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'd be more than happy for Toby to win. I, yeah, I, I, I think so it. too. I think uh, so I, too. I, you know, it just, it's been a bit of a shit season. Yeah, I agree. There's a bit of dog water. What else, is, what else is on though? What else is what are the, is, bro, there's no, have you got any TV series? You watch a lot of movies and TV. Come on, bro. Give me something. Give me something. Oh, I don't know. What you got for me? Most recent thing I enjoyed was Clarkson's Farm, but that's not new. Clarkson's Farm, yeah, yeah. no, I, I watched a few of that. I need to get back into it though. But it but was the, all the good TV shows yeah. would never get aired now nowadays. Uh, Again, uh, so I was thinking yeah. this the other day. Like, we're never going to see another Little Britain because because it's fucking outrageous. Yeah, but that, but in a hilarious way. Yeah, but I mean, they're the kind of shows that we grew up on. Yeah. The the ones that uh, are cause a shift in culture. Yeah, they push. Do you know what I mean? They they in push. Yeah, exactly. Little Britain. 
Come what fly with me. I mean, it's the same creators, but it's pretty much. Come fly with me. Yeah, that the was airport. Control shift. I've never even fucking heard of that. The, come fly. It's the list of Chris. Come, Little Britain did that. Went then went and did. Come fly with me. What's come fly with me? Oh my lord! Ah, uh, you got an, an everyone, everyone in the I crowd. Would a massive groan in the back of the. Wait, oh. so, what, have you guys? Have you guys Strike heard of come two. fly with me? What the fuck is come fly with it's me? It's Little Britain, but an airport. That's what it is. <laughs> the same people. But just at an airport. Bro, please watch it when you get in. It's so good. Are you sure it's not people just are gonna Little Britain? People are going to think you're really uncultured, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge... This is going to make... This is a huge L, is it? TikTok rounds, this is. I'll be honest, I've never heard of come I've never even heard of it, bro. <sighs> That's sad. Right, what else have we got on the list? What other controversial shows have there uh, been? There's been you a few, more, man. Um, but f phone jacker, face jacker, bow face selector, them sort of things. They wouldn't, you wouldn't get them anymore. They're um, all stereotypical stuff. So you just don't, you don't see that anymore because it offends someone. Yeah, it offends someone. Yeah, that, that drives me nuts. That yeah. the things that just offend. If it offends one person, then it's just it's like, enough to. It's a, you just can't offend yeah. anyone, right? So then jokes just become really shit. Yeah. I'm still baffled that you haven't seen Come Fly With Me, honestly. That really? Is, is it that really bad? That's, it's, you know, a TV show of a generation. Uh, but I told you, I haven't even watched it in between us. Yeah, yeah I might have seen clips from it, but I'll be honest, it just not, it's not hitting right now. I can't, <laughs> I can't see it. Go uh, on then, what's your, what's your favourite TV show that you probably wouldn't get shown nowadays? Oh, that's the thing, I don't know. All right, okay, so there was one, right? And, but it wasn't a TV show. It was sort of like an internet show. Um, now I'm gonna I, I've actually forgotten off the top of my head you'll be able to check it real quick for me Alex it was a guy based in New Zealand and he was at school right oh summer, summer high. yeah yeah summer, summer high, high. high that would it. never be shown now that yeah. right there is unbelievable gold. that's gold yeah, it's yeah. honestly yeah, yeah, it's so good like to this day tears of laughter yeah uh, genuine tears oh of yeah laughter. Catherine Tate show that Catherine sort of thing. Tate phenomenal yeah um what's the one um James Corden um, uh, the one uh, the fishing trip. Gavin and Stacey. Yeah, and Stacey. Fishing Another trip. Yeah, oh, the fishing trip. They okay, always talk right. about the fishing trip. Yeah, but sorry, no one sorry. ever knows what happened on the yeah. fishing trip. Gavin and Stacey. Another cultural. Yeah. One that everybody knows about. Just like come fly with me. Um, what what else? Gavin and Stacey. Are pe people are going to be dropping comments right now about. Yeah, something. there's going to be tons of shows. Tons missed, of ones but... that are just a shift. I tell you, a movie super bad. That, that's a movie that that changed that is, yeah, that, that's one of my favorite films yeah oh yeah, absolutely unbelievable yeah fantastic Let's get a glimpse that. of these warlocks <laughs> you are you are always on point with the with the quotes. Oh, you bro, can quote so yeah, many different just, things they're just they sit in my brain what other what other movies would you guys claim that is a is a cultural shift? i mean a lot of a lot of seth rogan you know jonah hill associated films are always like yeah like quality yeah 20, 21 jump, jump street that, mm. that had a lot of quibbles Project, Project X. X, yeah, you know what? You, uh, you then saw a lot of news articles about Project yeah. X, and the and kids just having absolute ragers after oh, that. Mate, you seen the Australian TV sh TV interview? Well, that that isn't that what the movie was based off. I think it is. Yeah, was but based the original off that. guy. How, what what was the interview? How did it go again? Do you remember? Oh, I can't remember what he said, but he's just like he's just the, the, this like zoned out guy. That's just like, yeah, it was a great party. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And and the entire like the floor like caved in. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. had like a thousand people at this house, Police and his mum from and dad were just away on district. holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just gets out of hand, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. To, we we've had some pretty crazy house parties. It's not so much at the place we're at now, but the last uh, flat that we used to live in, some ridiculous house parties. Um, but and 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 God bless Keith, our neighbour. Uh, at, at the time, his name oh, was right. Keith, or was it Frank? Frank or Keith, I don't know. They're just both very generic, you know, mm. old people names. And he was about, I think, I don't want to disrespect him. I'd say he's about seventy, right? And and we used to have the craziest parties, make so much noise in that flat. And the only complaint we ever had from him. Now this is a house, a semi-detached house, yeah, or a terraced house. I forget what it is, but we had the one at the end, phenomenal house. You yeah, guys would have seen it in, in videos. And the only ever complaint that we got from Frank was. A letter, uh, a little thing that he posted through our thing that, 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 that said, "Hey, mate, um, mate, if you could, if you could not leave your bin bags next to the bin because they don't collect them, 
you have to put them in the thing and i thought you know what mate considering the amount of shit you go through yeah i'll put the bins in the bin yeah you know it's the, it's the least I could do for you, Frank. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah, that that was the only thing. And well, I mean, oh, you God. know about the parties that we that we used to have. There were seriously crazy, and the amount of noise we used to make, and not a peep from him, no, not yeah. once. What um, guy? Yeah. Shout out Keith Frank. Y- yes, my bilingual or soon to be bilingual friends and listeners of the podcast, because we are back here with the good people from Babel. Yes, that's right. We're here to talk other languages. Have you guys been interested in learning another language? Uh, If you haven't, then the reason why you haven't been getting any girlfriends, haven't been able to make love to a partner is because guess what? They like people that can speak multiple languages. So get yourself on Babbel. Essentially what Babbel allows you to do is learn new languages, lots of different languages on there. And they're 15 minute lessons to make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Look, 15 minutes is perfect. A tube ride is 15 minutes. A bus ride is 15 minutes. Any, anything you can, 50, you can always find 15 minutes in a day, all right? Look, they design their courses with practical real world conversations in mind. So you'll get used to uh, things that you would say in everyday life. You know, it's not random sentences that you're never going to use. Um, that was a dig at my old school Spanish teacher. Thank you. Um, other learning uh, language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Uh, so you could learn useful vocabulary and not meaningless phrases fantastic. Babbel's teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective across multiple studies. Babbel is available as an app or online and your progress will be synced across all devices. Babbel has recently launched their own learning podcast so you can brush up on your Spanish or French while cooking or exercising. There's up to 14 different languages including Spanish, French, Italian and German. Those tend to be the most popular ones. Um, So go ahead and check that out. Not only that but they have speech recognition technology that helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. Sounds pretty ideal to me. So if that does appeal to you guys, then go ahead and purchase a six month subscription and you'll get six months free using the promo code fellas. Go to uk.babble.com slash play. That's uk.babble.com slash play. Use the promo code fellas for an extra six months free. Man. Yeah, Keith or Frank, I forget now. And you know, the really sad thing is when I moved out, I wanted to go buy him a bottle of red wine. But on the day oh, we moved out, on the day we moved out, it went into lockdown. Ah, so I, like, I don't really know if I can go. Is that actually when you moved out? Yeah, lockdown. it was like on the day of lockdown. Yeah. That's outrageous. Yeah. So, Keith, Frank, sorry. What if you're what watching bloke. this, fella? I do owe you a bottle of red wine or white wine, whichever you prefer. I hope he's still alive. And I hope the next person that lives there puts the bins in the bin too. It was really bad, you know. We used to have people come round because they wanted to sell the flat after they'd been renting it for so long. Oh, really? So while we were living there, they would have people come round and check uh, to view it. <laughs> the place was just yeah, in a mess the not whole great. time, man. It was, and it, but it was like you know, the, this place was probably worth like three, three and a half million, something like that. So the people coming round were upper yeah, yeah. echelon people, yeah. and you've got three YouTubers living in there. No, the place wasn't like a state it wasn't a bad state but if you're spending three and a half million pounds on sure. it has to be in top nick in yeah. order to make the sale happen yeah. and i knew people coming around looking at the place and i'm just thinking you're just not going to buy this place yeah. you might have bought this they place walk if it was in, in yeah to three guys completely hung over yeah oh, bin is not in the bin yeah pizza on the side pizza on the side and that's enough for someone to go this place is disgusting but it was yeah. just a pizza on the side yeah that was it reeve that's all we did is could have had it just let me have it. a slice yeah. help us it was yesterday's pizza by all means what pizza was it oh, I, I oh i'm getting myself hungry it's bad idea. yeah i like hawaiian though i like pineapple on my pizza really you like pina- pineapple on your pizza pineapple i don't mind pineapple i you wouldn't like pineapple. choose to have it but if it's there i'll eat it there's, a, there's a lot m- of things actually. i was gonna say there's not much that you wouldn't eat though yeah it's true yeah I love pineapple on pizza. People get onto it like, oh, you can't put pineapple on pizza. And I'm fed up of hearing about it. Yeah. And I brought it up. I'm fed up about hearing about it. Just people what constantly about, fucking what, bringing up this about, debate. What about broccoli on pizza? Fine. I don't... All I, right. I actually... Do, you know, I don't actually give a shit. That's okay. the thing. If you want to have broccoli on your fucking pizza, have broccoli on your fucking pizza. Choose it if you yeah, want that. Select it. I don't even think... Pizza, Be a pizza I don't, selector. I don't even think they do that, do they? You went on Domino's and asked for broccoli. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to get it. Right then, then don't get it. <laughs> All right. I don't care, Reeve. That's the point that I'm making. 
Pe- oh, does this belong on pizza? No. No. Mm-hmm. Do you belong on this fucking podcast? No. But you're here. Because because I wanted you to be here. I wanted you on the podcast. Yeah. Think of it like a pizza. I wanted Reeve on my pizza. Sorry? So have your fucking Reeve on the pizza. I, I, don't, I didn't tweet out asking, does Reeve go on a pizza? Does Reeve, does, Reeve, does Reeve belong on the fella's podcast? Maybe. Some people say yes, some people say no. That is, but if I want, if that I is want the you point on, of a controversial opinion. If I want you on the podcast, then I'll I, I get you on the podcast. If you want broccoli on your pizza, have broccoli on your pizza. If I want pineapple and ham on mine, I'll have pineapple and ham on my fucking pizza. <laughs> what is going on? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm fucking fed up, man. <laughs> what do you guys got on your pizza? Come on, what's the one rogue thing that uh, the people- Yeah, are rogue about? thing though. Not just like, oh, I have ham. Have you been listening? You just said <laughs> Take pineapple. Take those headphones off, you absolute Have you been listening bug. to this fucking podcast? He's gone, yeah, pineapple. <laughs> right, man, we've all been talking about yeah, that. Yeah, go on, go What you got? Jalapenos. Jalapenos, yeah, Jalapenos. you can't have those on pizza, <laughs> <laughs> No, we can't have that. That's where I draw the line at, yeah. you right? <laughs> No, I'm just joking. Go on, uh, I'm, no, I know Sam likes some rogue things on his pizza, go on. Nuts. What? D's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what sort of nuts? Like almonds? Like walnuts. walnuts on a pizza. Walnuts on a pizza. <laughs> Look, I know I've supported people and I've said, have whatever you want on the pizza. <laughs> but at the same time, if I ask uh, guys, would you like Jimmy Savile on the podcast? I think it's safe to say everybody would say no, right? So and it's I, also I think impossible. nuts on a pizza would probably be a unanimous decision with that. Yeah. So unfortunately there has to be a line drawn and I think having walnuts and almonds on your pizza. Yeah, that's pretty outrageous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this is a state, I've got nothing else to talk about. You got anything to talk about? Um, What's been happening in your life? You have a dog. Talk to me about this fucking dog. You convinced <laughs> this dog has cancer. I'm at ADHD, I'm at ADHD. <laughs> that's gone, I cannot run. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're convinced this dog has ADHD. I think he might do, but he's also a puppy. But I think he does, yeah. I think it's just a puppy. You, it used to be a big bastard, didn't it? When it was really young, early what? doors, a big bastard. <laughs> Are uh, just you a drunk? Pain in the, just a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah, he was. He was. He was a little shit, but now he's all right. Yeah, he steals kisses though, which is a bit annoying. Steals. Yeah, kisses. so like he'll come up to you and jump on you and then try and lick your face and stuff. You ever done tongue on tongue with your dog? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I've never done tongue on tongue with a dog. It's not really. Nah, no, I think you have, mate. <laughs> you know the things that, you, that get put in the WhatsApp group chats, but it said yeah, forward, yeah, no. forwarded many, many times. Many times. That should be the biggest red flag ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if yeah. You, but they're you, always the best things. They're always the best things. Yeah. Why are you doing that again? <laughs> it just <laughs> makes me just, feel good. I like it. I like it. Although it's making me want to piss. Um, what the water or the pouring? <laughs> I've seen some crazy stuff, man. Yeah. Crazy. Lo- a lot of WhatsApp groups are where the crazy stuff happens. That is- They're the, really yeah. fucked up shit. Yeah. And it, I, that sign forwarded many times. It's just a big red flag, isn't it? It's huge red Do flag. Do not press play on that video. But you also have to press play. You have to. You, you can't, got, you can't, you can't like, not. Everyone's laughing and chatting about the video. Yeah. Or some people, like a lot of the time, the first reply is just delete. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. Because it's just too outrageous. But nobody actually deletes. Although, have you seen? Yeah, uh, actually, I don't want to go for it. <laughs> it's a lot of crazy shit, bro. It's just uh, when the Euros was going around, there was a lot of crazy videos about. Oh fans. yeah, yeah. I saw one, and what well, I happened? All these lads just stacked on top of each other naked, and then one guy just takes like, <laughs> a beer. Pouring a pint. Pour that was on the, that was the final, right? That was he's pouring a pint down the arse crack of the first bloke, which yeah. funnels into the arse crack of the second one, to the third one, into to mouth. the fourth one. And then there's just some poor soul at the bottom just drinking the well, fountain juice. Not poor soul, he's willing. Well, he was enjoying Chose it. it. Yeah. You could argue it was free drink. Uh, <laughs> yeah, been through I love four the pint, I just don't care where it comes from. It's been through four of your mates. Sweaty ass. Sweaty arseholes. But oh, that, speaking that, of, yeah, I have had the sweatiest, scabbiest Wait, what? Arse from cycling last oh, week okay. it okay. was outrageous some proper saddle sores so if that they're ever called? gonna saddle sores saddle sores yeah so because you're in the same position for so many hours yeah if they're ever considering doing that again yeah now is what a, would you do now is a great time to get me involved in that if they wanted to the what people, the, you, you'd enjoy that feeling no no just be even worse for the guy on the bottom oh we're still talking about the mad yeah i just thought fuse it the, the arse juice yeah the arse beer how do you how do you avoid S- saddle sitting sores? up every now and again really it's about it. sitting up every now and again 
I suppose if you're cycling for like 14 hours. Yeah, you're going to get... tough. Yeah, well, well, you can only imagine what the Tour de France done. Oh, man, they're built different. Like. Their arseholes they're truly built different. shredded. Yeah, it's like a burnt sirloin down there. <laughs> Wooden. Wooden arsehole. Not arsehole. Leather. leather but like, it's made of leather. Yeah, to that degree. I wonder yeah. if they stitch leather into their arsehole just to give it that extra comfort. The 24-7 saddle. You've got real free roam with me coming on, really. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I already know it's demonetized, so it's fine. <laughs> the moment we talked about the dog just going to town, that's disgusting, man. Why did you bring it up, really? <sighs> Seen some, some crazy videos. Live Leak was a crazy place. You ever, ever go on Live no. Leak? No. Got shut I, down. I only, I, I probably would have watched stuff that was on there. Yeah. But I, uh, no, but yeah. that's the thing. You would never go, so you would never go on Live Leak like, what am I going to watch today? Yeah. It was not that sort of vibe. It was a link. <laughs> you were linked to it. Yeah. It was linked to it. And just, yeah, some of the stuff that I see, man. Crazy. Just unnecessary. And and I genuinely believe that it shaped me to be the human I am now. Because I've seen some absolutely insane stuff. So I say that it's desensitized me to a lot of very serious issues going on in yeah. this world. And to me, I don't see it. Like, I'm not there like, wow, that's disgusting. Because I've seen that a hundred times. I, yeah. Yeah. So, you ever seen the one of the geezer putting a glass jar and it smashes? That's nuts, bro. That was on Live Leak. That was crazy. <laughs> I haven't seen that. But w w I wouldn't Don't recommend Don't forget anyone. to link it to me after this. <laughs> it makes for some some light watching in the evening. Yeah. You know, you and the missus sat down on the couch. Oh, let me get the video of the guy <sighs> shoving a jar. Don't Love Island tonight, babe. Let's yeah. go on Live Leak. No. You see, it was never like that. Oh. It was never like that. Yeah. In the same way that you would go for Netflix now, that's not how you would approach Live League. Uh, you, you, you'd have to have a Red Bull before you went on Live League because you had to be amped to watch this shit. Okay. Otherwise, you get a queasy stomach, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just crazy. How queasy. How queasy. Oh, man, Live League. It's shut down now, anyways. It's sad times. Mm -hmm. I think, was I think it, it's was for it the monetized? Better, I think it's for a better society. Was it monetized? Society. Do they get m monetized? And stuff? I never uploaded to there, so I couldn't tell you. But Oh, no, don't, I don't mean I, you specifically, but like, did that website get money? I never saw ads on there. Ah, oh, really? I, I think I would really, you, would re you would really struggle to find advertisers that would want to advertise on the videos on yeah, there. Yeah, it's true, really. It yeah. would, yeah. It's a, you know what's interesting though? I've heard that the hub, the hub, um, has phenomenal CPM. Really? And I don't know if that's cap or what, but I've heard that it's fantastic. A lot of people, there was a, there was a video of me on my birthday. And I was getting a lap dance, and from, it's on there. From, and it got put on there, but then uh, I was there. Uh, yeah, you were there. Yeah. You, you remember the? Lap yeah, dance. I do remember it. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it was a pretty crazy video. Like JJ thought it was appropriate to put on his Snapchat story the entire thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 10, 15 minutes. And then like the swiftly realized it. He put it in yeah, and I mean, deleted it. The, so. There was flaps just hanging around. It was nuts. <laughs> right, and he had no problem with that. It, like, yeah. in his I was just scoffing uh, vodka Haribo's at that uh, I didn't know where that was going. Though, oh. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad you had your Haribo's. Um, anyways, that went up on there. And it, bro, they got a lot of views on there. And I, really? And I just wanted to know... I should have reached out at the time, but now the hub has actually officially got rid of all um, like amateur you, content, amateur content yeah. which is a little bit heartbreaking. I understand why they did it and that's fine. They, they've got to move in a certain direction, but that is a little bit heartbreaking. But those videos are, na are now gone. Uh, the, the video of me getting the lap dance gone forever. I've still well, got the you know memories. What, though, someone will have it. I've still got the memories. you got the memories? Yeah. What, what, etched into your mind or is it on your phone? No, no, in my, in my mind. In your mind. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, the to hub, hub ain't the same no more. No, it's gone downhill. It's gone downhill. Stocks, stocks got downhill. They used to be really active on Twitter. They, I think they follow me. Yeah, they have a great. They, they well, great I, PR. I, yeah, great social media team. Mm -hmm. mm. Don't know what's happened to them now. But. I'd love for them to sponsor a football club. They should sponsor a, an entire Sunday league. Yeah. What do you think? Or professional level. I just don't know. The thing is, it wouldn't get approved for TV rights. Well, betting companies are 18 plus. Yeah, I just feel like... You know what? You're right. Why have they not done it? Imag imagine a Liverpool kit with porn <laughs> on, up on the front. Like yeah. You're literally watching... Yeah. Pron. Pron? Pron. P-R, then a zero, and N. Clever. Pron. See, that's how you would get around... Pron Habi. Hubiru. Yeah. Um, that's, it's funny. Have you seen on TikTok? Obviously, their algorithm picks up loads of words, so people have to come up with crazy words oh, really? to replace sexual words sexual innuendos ah um and it's fan fascinating to see what the What's world the best comes one? up with I, I i don't know if there's like a best one that pops in the mind but like we've obviously coined porking 
Oh, okay. And and even then, we still have to put a zero in for the O. Really? Yeah, because otherwise TikTok go, not quite sure this one's for the masses. Ah. Whereas if you put a zero in there, obviously that's far more suitable. Yes. Everybody the, can watch that one. For the coders. For the coders? S3X. What? Oh, yeah, SEGS. SEGS. Yeah. That's like how you type on a calculator back in the day. Yeah. With like sixes. Boobs. Boobs. Six zero zero six. Oh, I used five. to put eight. Eight, eight zero zero oh, eight. Eight. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. I went for the B, six. Isn't it? I suppose it depends what calculator you got, really. Yeah, it's true. Well, most calculators now just on phone. I just, just I type just out the word. I don't want to talk about calculators for a minute. Hmm? Calculators? Yeah, Casio's. What a historic, historic ar- artifact more than anything. Do you remember, do you remember exams? You had a specific... I remember exams. <laughs> yeah. a, I think with, they still have the them. Paint. Actually. Oh, do they? What yeah, were yeah. the, the specific like stats calculators? You had a normal calculator. Yeah. And then you had a specific calculator for more advanced mathematics i i only ever had the more it's true advanced right one. yeah it was called a scientific calculator yeah a scientific, scientific calculator, calculator. Yeah. Well, where it so what where has the effects to, and stuff like that yeah so it. if you did like so i did maths at a level don't tell theo okay yeah you know bon- got upset. boner oh, oh yeah the way yeah. around um he had taken two calculators really yeah strange isn't it? I, I never had to take it into it i always had the one the scientific one and, and it, it, there it was like you, you know you're what? a cultured it, man it, w- it was fantastic when everyone found out how to play games on it you could play yeah, a game like you like hack the thing yeah you could literally hack into yeah. it and play games so people in maths were just banging out high scores on games it was class I wonder if people still do that They've they just must fin- everyone's just finished like but wh- getting wh- results why, right? uh, but th- back to my conversation about calculator why why bother with a fucking calculator the whole world is digital now this whole uh, being able to do maths without the calculator is a waste of time I think I think it's shit. Oh, it, we used to have a non-calculator exam and a calculator exam. Did yeah, you ever have yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the point? There's no point. That was having that's that no- early though in education, surely. No, even even later on. Really? Yeah, it still happens. Mental maths is what it called. I really struggled with my. Yeah, but that, like that, my was like, that was like that was like primary school, no? No. Secondary school? No, GCSEs. Really? We'd, yeah. I can't remember doing that. Yeah. Maybe we did. Maybe I did. <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't make sense to me everything you can find it now is online yeah, why, you why really do you get... have to have it stored in your brain like a fucking abacus it you don't, no you don't really it. get taught or prepared for normal life enough do you I said that I've said that in previous podcasts yeah. teach people how to f- submit a, a <laughs> tax form a tax form yeah T- teach people how the fuck their tax works if you go and you get a job and you're getting paid 30 grand a year understand that you're not going to see the full 30 grand yeah. a year because guess what big Boris is taking a pocket pocketing that and taking fucking Priya on a little private True. jet to Barbados True. and porking her while rubbing his head all over her breasts. Yeah. Like static on balloons. You know I mean? <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. I mean his head does look his hair does look like it's constantly got a static on reaction. Fleek. On yeah. fleek and it's never on fleek, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's no. constantly got a static energy. It's like Einstein, but without the Einstein, you know? Yeah. Just the trim. Just, yeah. Fuck Boris. <laughs> really? Fuck Boris? No, I just Do you like s- Boris? That's what they say, innit? Yeah, they do. Fuck Boris. Yeah, there's a, there's a song. Yeah, I can't remember there's the name. Song. Where's the guy that sang it? I think it might have been Stormzy. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think it was. Stormzy. Just fishing Alex, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how long has this podcast been going for? Let Four me know. hours. I think we've covered such a range of topics. An hour and 13 minutes. An hour and 13. I it's think that's pretty good. good. I think that's pretty fucking good going, to be fair, Reeve. There is relationship advice. Oh. There is relationship. Right, let's, let's end it on a little relationship advice. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Hey. Relationship advice. With the guy that hasn't seen Come Fly With Me, Cal Freezy. <sighs> Okie dokes. Here we go. Um, right, let's have a little look. So, as always, we have relationship advice, and it is always ding, ding, anonymous. Ding. So, we have fellas and felitas. We have quite a few felitas that have submitted today. So, <laughs> girls, we are here to save your doomed relationship. Ta-da! 2022 is a better year. Can really. I get a name for this uh, felita, please? Jessica. Jessica. Okay, what is your opinions on being fully settled by 25? We have been together since we were 14, mortgaged for three years, married uh, two, and have a one-year-old son. I am so happy, but others always question, am I not scared I'm missing out? Love the podcast, fully caught up on all of them on my walks in the last two or three weeks. What do you think? Why why is she she bothered about? If she's happy, Mm -hmm. just... 
live your life. You know, people in the Amazon mm-hmm. don't know about iPhones. Yeah, they're not, sit- they're they're not sitting around wondering, bloody hell, can't wait to play Flappy Bird. Wow. You know? When if you, you don't know what's out there, you know, you know it's not a problem. It? Yeah, that, that, well, that's the thing. She's not even curious. Exactly. About it. If she was sat there like, am I missing out? Am I paying? Then yeah, maybe there is cause don't for concern. Don't listen to the noise. It's what we do. Focus on you. Yeah, we, we, we're experts at FPL and we had a year of noise. Oh, pick the, blah, 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 pick, he's scoring goals. No. Mohamed Salah is good. <laughs> Let's pick him as captain. Yes. And that's what you need to do. You need to pick your husband as captain every week and you just happy you're happy with him. That's fine. Look, I've always said everyone goes through a whole phase. I'll be perfectly honest with you. You're going to divorce by the time you're 40. That's fine. But and then you go through your whole, whole yeah, phase. Yeah, 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 exactly. Or yeah. or maybe or we're maybe all gonna, we're all going to live to 150 anyway. Or maybe. Right? No, we're not living to 150. All right. Well, just me then. Maybe this is what happens. Maybe you don't you don't divorce when you're 40, but instead what happens is you end up swinging. You know what swinging is? Naked sex parties. Yeah, but like you, as a couple, you go to like swinging parties oh, and you shag other couples. Right. Right. And I think that is how a lot of these couples that are on from early, they they have their whole phase through swinging in their later years. Okay. So it wouldn't surprise me. Um, what did you call this woman? Jessica. Jessica, if that was the case. But anyway, I'm, I'm glad that you're enjoying life, living yeah, living 20, life. Yeah, 25 and you've got everything to it. Fantastic. We haven't got that. Exactly. No, we don't. We actually don't. We're, we're, we're fucked. Yeah, we're, w- we're older fucked. than that as well. But I have a nice watch. Yeah, you no, do. So that's I mean, okay. you got to pay for it. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, uh, next up, we've got another Felita. Her name is? <sighs> don't know. How can I not think Don't know. It? All right. No, no, know. no. Here come we on. Go. Hey, Serious. Hey, lads. Love the podcast. So, Harriet. Harriet said, uh, started seeing this guy last July and then he cut things off in November. Around February, March, started speaking and meeting again, obviously sleeping with each other. Uh, since then, I've stayed at his a lot and I, uh, I get along with his family. We're going away this weekend to family. Cumbria. Ooh, nice. Uh, but he's not 100% on commitment. Um, but we work so well and we're in uh, and we're in nearly a year deep. What the hell do I do? P.S. Love you both. So... Wait, are you going away with his family? Yeah, that's what I thought. No, that- no, I don't think so. We're going away this weekend. So he, she just said she gets along with the family. Oh. We're going away this weekend to oh, Cumbria. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I don't think that's with the family. We're going to assume it's just those two. Very different situation if it is. I mean, you're pissing me like- well, what, what do you reckon? What, what's, the, what's the thing? She said, look, we're nearly a year deep in here. What's the plan? Have you ever been to Cumbria? Have I ever been to Cumbria? No, it's not even on my list, actually. Yeah, I, I'd suggest going somewhere else. That's, that'd be my contribution. She's here for relationship advice. You've given her holiday advice for you. Yeah, yeah. Send her, send her somewhere else, mate. Send, send Cornwall's us, really nice. Go the way. to Cornwall yeah. instead of Cumbria. It's a lot sunnier. It's further south. Yeah, it, it's nice. I've been, I had some good nights out. Sorry, what was it? Um, look, she's a year deep in. Year deep. Look, this is what I think you need Those to do. Those are the days. Yeah. Speak to him and say, look, this goes no further unless you commit to me. Yeah, but then you, then you force... It's been a year, Reeve. Ah. It's been a year, bro. How long are you going to wait around for Adoni to... Because let me tell you, yeah, if, but he we were, yeah, but after, think about if he hasn't committed... Think about it. We were in lockdown for a year. Right. So a majority of that relationship has been in lockdown where they've not been able to see anyone anyway. Yeah. So depending on how much further since... Look, how many months has it been since lockdown ended? A few. Three or four. So they were in a relationship forcibly for eight months uh-huh. so they've only really had four months to see the outside world yeah four months is not a long time all right? right take it slow man take it easy <laughs> yeah uh i disagree oh what I, I think i think you need to ask him straight up yo do you see this going anywhere i'm not asking you to commit to me right now but do you see this going further am, am i working right or are we just, are we just shagging straight mm. up or are we just shagging because right now it seems like he's got his, himself like a, a nice side piece yeah. that he's porking when he wants to, nice holiday when he wants to. Yeah. But is this actually going anywhere? Uh, yeah. All right. Well, send, yeah. tell him that. But then yeah. also, Cornwall is better. Yeah. That, that's the most. If you're coming away with anything from our advice, absolutely, Cornwall is better than Cumbria. Yeah. Supposedly. Uh, next up, another Felita. Her name is. Um. <laughs> asking to say Jess. 
All right, Jess. Whoa, two in a row. So my boyfriend of two years has been really distant recently. And I've realized that my best friend that I have known since we were a toddler only wants to go out with me when I'm with my boyfriend. What? So like a thruple. Yeah, she only wants to go hang out with her best friend when she's with her boyfriend. <gasps> oh, right. it's a female friend. Um, it was a bo- I saw some messages between them that seem a bit sus and I don't know how to approach this situation. Uh-huh. Like, do I talk to them about it or do I confront them? Because when they're together, they are extremely flirty with each other. Any advice? Yeah, you gotta much- ask. you got to ask them, man. That sounds sus. Very. That sounds super sus. Super sus. I'm going to be a hunter. Yep. It's looking ropey for the That sounds pretty bad, by the way. It does, yeah. If your best mate is just flirting loads with your boyfriend. And I imagine you've, like, diluted that down for yeah. a DM as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I've probably seen some nasty shit. So, yeah. So, look, if I were you, what, what is the... What is the... What is the... What is the move here? Is there any way you can really find out about it? Yeah, get him on a get him on a game of Never Have I Ever or a drinking game and then put him on the spot. Never then- have I ever fancied a girlfriend's best mate. Yes. And then when she starts sweating, you gotta. Yeah, that's not gonna work. But, All right. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, listen. No, you gotta ask. That, that sounds... Fishy man, you've got to yeah, ask. You, you got to ask. You got to be like, yo, what's going on? What's going on? Chief? And then even if if they're honest and you know, like, oh, nothing actually. It's just like, cool, man. And because sometimes what does happen is a lot of girls they tend to work things up in their head. If that makes sense. So yeah. You see something and it's like, okay, I've just bought a red car. Okay. Now all I see is fucking red cars it's everywhere. True. I thought that I bought a red confirmation car. Confirmation bias. Is that what it's called? Confirmation bias. So now you're just looking out for these things. Yeah. When in reality, it's not a big deal. And it happens to a lot of people in relationships. Yeah. Is once they talk, and then they just work themselves up into a thing. Now, I'm a big believer in believe in your gut. But sometimes it can get to the point where it's like, hold on a second. Mm. This is, you're, you're literally just looking out for things that confirm your theory. Yeah. Oh, she touched his hand at the bar. Well, I got pushed into a bar. Yeah. Another bloke. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Fantastic from you there, Reverend. Thanks, man. Next up, another Felita. Um, Georgia. Georgia. Georgia said, "Hey fellas, hope you are doing well. Me and this girl were poor. Is this a guy or a girl? This is a chick. It looks like a fella in the picture. No, this is a bloke. The way this this is written, George." Sorry, this is a fella. A fella named George. Hey, fellas. I hope you're doing well. Me and this girl were porking the other day and got walked in on by her mum. It was all very awkward and she left quick time. Ever since then, the mum has been even more chatty, even even more flirty when it's just me and her in the room. This is all a relatively new thing. Shall I sack it off with the girl and bag a MILF? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, defo. If you're thinking about it, just do it. Yep. If, 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 the, if the seed is planted... I'm not even here for advice. I just, yep. Just get, get a bit, bro. You obviously, you're not that arsed about the chick. Bro, right? they create videos, films about this scenario. Dude. This exact scenario. There's tutorials on how to execute this. Not great yeah. tutorials, but there are tutorials. If you don't follow through with the plan that yeah. we've given you, which is yes. You've let us all down. Yeah, fraudulent behavior. Massively. So please do keep us updated on, on that particular one. Right now, we really do have a Felita back on the uh, back, Georgia back in the DMs. Georgia again? Well, no, because it wasn't, was it? it oh, was George. George on the last one. Yeah. So this one's Georgia. Okay, okay. So basically, I really want to be a footballer's wife. Oh. I have someone on Insta that plays for Chelsea, my age. I've swiped up with her eyes on one of his stories, and he replied with thanks. <laughs> XX. Oh, right? You're basically in. But how the hell do you keep a convo going after that? Thanks. Love the pod, fellas. Right. We have got a wannabe wag. First of all, some career prospects from you. But fair play for the honesty. Seriously. Yeah. She, she's got the vision. She wants the Range Rover. She wants the uh, the crushed velvet interior. Yeah. She wants to be at the football games clapping when her boyfriend gets subbed off. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make the bench. Yeah, you know what I mean? So... Look, fair play, complete honesty, wants to be a footballer's wife. 
footballer has replied by the way so if a footballer replies by the way it i know we mocked it a second ago yeah but let it be known that that's what he's done there not to not to show his cards because he just said thanks so yeah. if you post a screenshot everyone goes what are you getting on about yeah, yeah. he's just said thanks. there's nothing no, here that is he's opened the door he's he left has. the door ajar for you to enter now the next steps are vital what are the next steps breathe step one respond by asking who's better out of messi and ronaldo yes and, if and then if he says Ronaldo, sack him off because he's an idiot. And get on to the next footballer. Yep, yeah, thank you. Actually, I'm maybe, sure there's plenty more at Chelsea, right? Just ask another one. Maybe if he chooses Ronaldo and you now know he's intellectually inferior, you could plan. argue that it's even easier to, to manipulate the boy. Oh, there's really a lot of options here. Look, if I were you, get in there, just chat about something. The thing is, don't reply with if you swipe if you reply to someone's stories with heart eyes that shit what is he supposed to reply with yeah he's got nothing to reply with. reply to a story with a question with a comment about something yeah so that he can reply to it and you can start a conversation that way get you're to know wallet. him but not this it's overtly prying you know because yeah. he's not going to give away too much information because footballers don't like getting you know what's the word stunted on and all yeah. they get getting in the girls group chats of oh my god look yeah what yeah said yeah to you. You so he's cool. gonna keep it quite reserved anyway private and cool yeah they are media trained yes well some of them but yeah some, some decide them. not to follow that some of them. yeah not peter next up we've got a fella his name is peter. uh peter, peter. yeah peter. how did you beat me to that all right, Peter says, um, look, me and my ex were into some really kinky stuff, like... Huh? Hiccups. No, no, like hiccuping on each other. Oh, yeah. No, no, uh, this guy said, um, doing a number two on each other. Wow. Um, and not only that, but also sometimes number one on each other. And that's that's less mess, isn't it? Yeah, it's... Uh, well, you could argue. Uh, what's it? Yeah, smelly. yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, on each other. But so far, with this new girl... A new girl everything has been really stale how do i add these how do i bring this up <laughs> no, this is mad no, by the no way no poo and no piss yeah how do you i, I don't know i don't I, know I've, look mate you may have been the first person ever to stump this podcast yeah. uh, because i have never been in that situation before i can only imagine maybe whack on you know say like oh let's watch a bit of the hub tonight and then just whack on I don't know. A video of of him doing a mad thing on the chest and then just say, oh, that looks like fun. And just see if she, and if she goes, actually, I would really like that. Yeah. And you go, fucking yeah. And if she goes, oh yeah. Uh, oh Get my it in, love. <laughs> and then if she goes, oh, that's fucking disgusting, you dirty little pig. Yeah. You go, oh, yeah, I was only fucking joking yeah. anyways. That's, that's foul. Anyways, on to the next video. Yeah. So you could do that. Could do that. <laughs> that's the only <laughs> advice I could give to you, man. Yeah, true. Um, Next up, we've got another Felita. Here we go. Oh, wow. This is... This is... This is Sally. Sally. She's Here 40, we go. I'm going to stay with this guy tomorrow who is the best mate of the guy I have been sleeping with. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh terrible. No. I ended that a few days ago because I wasn't feeling it anymore and preferred his best mate. <laughs> Do you think I have a chance with this new fella or would that be weird? Let me tell you something, Sally. You're a scumbag. Yeah, right? you awful you, woman. You are a scumbag, but but there's a part of, I respect it. Yeah. You have to respect it. She is a hustler. Yeah, very and much. And the so. real scumbag here is the best mate. Because yeah. the best mate he, here he knows. should be loyal to, to, his boy. to your best friend. Yeah, for sure. She or, or Sally, you you ultimately were a porkin. Yeah, right? she's and you've the game, cut man. it off. So the best mate should go, look, I have to respect my best mate and I'm not gonna do it. So ultimately Sally, you're a bit of a scumbag, but you're just playing the game. Yep. And the game ultimately is the game. So, Whoa. you know, at the end of the day, you absolutely have a chance. I will let you know that the guy you are going to pork, the best mate of the guy you were previously porking, is, uh, is a scumbag. So you are porking a scumbag. Or maybe two scumbags porking each other. You guys might have incredible sex. Who knows? True. Scumbag sex. Yeah. You both know that you're just doing yeah, a terrible morally thing. morally corrupt. Tragic. Yeah. But, you know... Get well, down and dirty with it. What I would say is when you do it, just make sure it's worth it. Yeah. You know, re have, if you've, you make cut, it you, you've cut a lot of bridges. Burn, yeah. What, cut, yeah, burn cut a lot, a lot of ties, burn a lot of bridges. You might not be able to get back 
from that position. But it sounds like so. she doesn't care anyways. Look, always, there's yeah. always plenty more fish in the sea. Yada, yada. True. Thank you guys very much for watching Whoa. this episode. What a fantastic... Reeve, thank you so much for My coming in and stepping pleasure, in. My pleasure, man. Seriously, you always come through. And I'm, I'm going to be really excited to see what's made the cut. Yeah. A lot of it will have done. Don't you worry. Okay. Seriously. Um, but yes, truthfully, thank you very much for coming. It's been oh, an absolute pleasure. pleasure, Reeve. And if you guys haven't already, check out Reeve. Check out his channel. And uh, Reeve, there's some rumors going around oh. that uh, you might have your own uh, something, something on the horizon. <laughs> but we won't talk too much. But yeah, make sure you follow Reeve. Uh, and he, he, he might give away some surprises on his uh, Insta story. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, guys. We'll see you in a, in a bit. Bye. Toodles. <laughs>